I was out uh, having a drink with a friend the other night, and we were talking about love. This friend is is a lot younger than me, and um, and I was trying to explain. At one point, I said to her, uh, "I don't think I'll ever fall in love again," and I could see that that made her sad. Um, to to think of someone who's come to a point in life where you don't think you'll ever fall in love again. Now, of course, you know, part of the reason I don't think I'll ever fall in love again is that I'm very happy with my current uh, partner. So I'm not sort of imagining, uh, you know, that ending and getting into something else. But, um, but I think it's more than that. Uh, honestly, I think that if Casilda and I separated or she died or whatever, and I found myself on my own again. I don't imagine that I would fall in love. In fact, I don't think I'm capable of falling in love. And I don't think that that is a sad thing. And I'll tell you why. There's a a line we quote in the paperback version of Sex at Dawn. I I hadn't come across this quotation uh, when the hardback came out, but I sort of jammed it into the paperback before they printed that. Uh, It's from Louis de Bernier. I'm not sure if that's pronounced correctly. He's a novelist, wrote a book called Corelli's Mandolin, which I haven't read but intend to. Um, Anyway, the, the, the quotation is, Love is not breathlessness. It's not excitement. It's not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any of us can convince ourselves we are. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. I think that that's a really powerful quotation. Being in love is something any of us can convince ourselves we are. Right? Being in love, what I was trying to explain to my friend the other night is that at this point in my life, I feel like being in love is narcissism. Because when you're in love... It's like you, you're you riding the horse and you let go of the reins. It's like, oh, this horse is going to take me wherever it wants to go. I have no control, right? That's why we call it falling into love, right? You're not stepping into love. There's no intention. At least that's the intention isn't admitted in the phrases we use. We fall into love. And I've come to the conclusion that the more energy we put into falling in love, the less we have for actually loving. Because I feel like what we call falling in love, because it's narcissistic, but loving is generous and selfless. And the fact that we call it falling in love sort of gives us this convenient excuse to cover all the damage that we do to each other. I read, I saw a paper recently, and I, I can't remember who wrote it or what journal it was in, but the the idea struck struck me and stayed with me. And the idea was that love evolved not to get us into relationships. It evolved to get us out of relationships. And I know I've done that in my life. I know that I've used the idea of being in love with someone as a way to get me out of a situation that I didn't have the courage or the strength or the mental focus to get myself out of on my own. 